Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is saving your disaster campaign, a battle strike disaster. And we are trying to get Lieutenant Charlie Wagner back from the grips of Advan. This whole campaign started with a bit of a banger mid-mission and with a lot of saving you know, to be done. Now let's see how well this mission is actually going to go. We do have very limited personnel and I really don't want to uh, to go in in order to fight this. It's more trying to trying to squeeze a win out of this. I'm uh thinking about yeah potentially that is the best team that i could think of we're definitely needing stealth we got a claymore for explosions if needed we got anti uh, mind control if needed some heal and a bit of a mixture of different um, ammunitions not great but not uh, totally problematic either so we we have to do with what we have which is basic weapons basic armor not great but it is okay well, let's just land and uh, see if we can get our phone camera out of uh, the claws of advent good time to land with these missions you always want to stay hidden and essentially evacuate soon-ish. Really don't want to have a prolonged fight. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. That's an idea. This is going to get a whole lot harder. Sileto, our Reaper, is moving up. Uh, we're blocking the way upward. Why exactly do the enemies have so little hit points? Something seems a bit off. In Better Strike, they should have twice the hit points. Hmm. Something is off. This is just seven or eight hit points, unless these guys are really, really only three hit points. Two, four, six, eight hit points. That's a basic trooper. No place for you to go now. Let me just double check something real quick. Change difficulty. Legend. Okay, well, that's it, I suppose. Edit options. No, I can't can't really change any of uh, the gameplay options. Hmm. Very strange. See, one of the things that I do not understand is they only have eight hit points. There's really not that much um, they can do against us at this point. Let's do this. I don't want an, a too easy campaign. You know me. I like my good challenges. Hmm. Good, he is alerted. We're picking up increased comm chatter in the compound. They've noticed something is up. We haven't lost the advantage yet, though. Try to avoid engaging their forces if possible. <laughs> oh, come on. No need to ask twice. Getting it done. It's not too far. Yeah. We shouldn't engage them, but at the same time, it is fun to engage them. Moving. Specifically if they have such little hit points. It's, it almost feels unfair to play that mission completely stealthy. <clears throat>
Enemies are slightly on guard. Okay. But slightly on guard means nothing. <clears throat> We're okay. Affirmative. Good. What we're going to do is we're just going to blow up that wall. I understand. And that should be good. You will never hide from me. I'm still not convinced about the hit points. Something is a bit off here. I'll leave this here. Good. One for the money, two for the show. Alright, VIP took some damage, but not deadly levels of damage. On it. And how about we are just going to go over here next turn, we can go in, take the VIP and go out. You heard another explosion. Fair enough. So soon the gig here is uh, is up. No, ah, can't use that. Heal up. A little bit of healing. It's interesting that that breaks uh, from concealment. All right. Wasn't aware that that could happen. We got an individual concealment ready if needed. <clears throat> This one here is easy enough. our extraction zone Ready our escape Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert Time to move All right The VIP is with me we're on our way Easy out. enough <laughs> And you know what we're just going to conceal ourselves here move over which means we can still wait here for one more turn and that's okay the compound has reached maximum alert status they put out a distress signal and we could get some extra benefit with a hack oh 
Oh, nice. Uh, research time reduction. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, that's a few days off of the current research. I think powered armor was the current research. Are you kidding me? All right, well, that changes everything. Good, we gotta get out of here ASAP. Enemy and the problem is we're going to see reinforcements. Should have just evac to be honest. That 50% 50, uh, 50 uh, time reduction was not worth it. Concealing. And we're rushing over. Enemy has spotted us, but not uh, the uh, not uh, the ranger yet. That's the reinforcements coming in. As you can imagine, we can't win a prolonged engagement anyway, so there is no point in trying that. Fantastic hit, lovely. And that's the strength of a well placed ranger right there. And we're just going to run. I take some damage, but that's about it. More enemies are triggering, alright. out and sprinting out times two not a flawless mission but a okay mission huh okay learn something new I was uh, aware that <coughs> The evac zone would be placed once you open the door, but I was unaware that it actually forces a replacement if you already have a uh, zone active. So try to be extra smart here, and it sort of backfired. Good. Look, overall, still fine. And we got Charlie Wagner. Well, that's not bad either. I sort of need to color code differently because this is misleading. All of this is decent uh, color. I appreciate that the viewer had his own color code, but I'm so used to play with a certain color code that it makes the whole thinking about uh, strategy a bit easier. So typically I use rangers is red, specialist is green. I don't even know what that type of uh, armor is supposed to be. I think he had uh, a lot of visual mods installed. Anyways, snipers are straight up white. And most of uh, those things come from XCOM 1, where 
blue was not easily obtainable. Grenadiers are yellow. All of these colors in XCOM 1 were the ones that were closest to the color zero. Good. So, roster looks better. I wouldn't say fully recovered, but better than before, which I appreciate. I think a couple of these guys are now high enough rank to actually be useful. That's always a problem if you continue to lose um, characters you find yourself in a bit of a downward spiral because you need to go in with lower characters but we now have a healthy roster which is good so let's move on that's a great find we're going to do that soon got battlefield medicine which is fantastic as well and we got a raid which is even better we now got mental fortitude and we got a raid uh, which we're immediately going to do might be the next mission right here and right now raid will give us everything alloy solarium and the much needed supplies you can see we're also a little bit better with the supplies now so let me think about what type of uh, mm, team we would like to run so let's try to get the standard four together Grenadier and the Specialist. Okay, that's not bad. That's already a decent start. Although this Specialist here is a bit inexperienced. Let's hope Said can heal well enough. We're definitely going to take a Reaper with us for good scouting. And then it's a question of what do we want to use last. Uh, I would tend to go for a second Grenadier, simply because grenades are good weapons and uh, at the beginning cover removal due to the low hit chance is very vital. So in absence of other options, I think this is a, a good uh, first team. Let's just go through the options here. I think his shard gun plus that setup makes sense. We're not having a lot of other options here really. Got one nano med kit, frag grenade, do we have other weapon mods? No, we're out of them. Okay, well, it is what it is. No grappling suit, we got the anti-meta rifle, that's good. We still don't have the chosen, um, the alien hunter weapon. And I think I should change that soon-ish. Bomber gets the frost bomb i see we yeah the only thing that we do have is the light machine gun and that's not even great we seem to have lost uh, the the upgraded version of uh, this uh, weapon now we have no further grenades that we can load Okay, before we're going into that mission, like I mentioned, we do have a bit of supplies to work with, but I think it's not enough for for the Shadow Keeper. No, just barely not enough, but we'll get, we'll get there via the supply run. So it's actually quite important that we get the supply run. Loss on that uh, run, do we have the option 
to build an ultrasonic lure, yeah, but we don't have the money. Hmm. Well, we just gotta work with what we have. Here we go, guys. Okay, we're landing, and it's going to be one of those smash and grab missions. We have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. The firebrand will handle the rest. You will never hide from an alien scouting party. Okay, so we got a couple of uh, bad boys already there. In the meantime, everybody else takes the high ground up here. And we're good to go. Uh, seems okay in terms of in terms of hit points. We're getting relatively easy enemies. I don't know if anything if the force level is off slightly. I, I don't know. It's not too far. We were fighting against mechs beforehand, but it might have just been an unfortunate circumstance where where the owner of the safe game just have pulled all of the enemies the harder enemies at once. I don't know. It seems we are fighting against slightly easier enemies at the moment. Not that I'm complaining, but it is indeed easier than expected. Location confirmed. Solid copy. So for those of you unaware why I'm currently not engaging, the timer for the smash and grab doesn't start before we're actually going into the mission. And with the Reaper having um, the enemy tracking skilled, we do not even need to immediately engage. We have all the time in the world to to just figure out where all of the enemies are. That'll be one kill. Okay, well, one kill. Moving the designated position. All of this is unfortunately spottable terrain, and we don't want to be spotted out naturally. Just going to do a bit of an overwatch. These guys are now spotting each other out, uh, which means every single one of them is going to be engaged. I hope they are taking cover next to vehicles, because that's typically what they do. Yep, one of them already does. Moving all over here, should give us the third car as an explosion. And that's a perfect start. We haven't even started yet. Position confirmed. Order confirmed. Moving out. 
We're still in full concealment, which means the enemies are just fighting each other. I'm on the move. Needing to designate a position. Opening the door. And we're overwatching because the enemies can fight each other for all I'm concerned. I do not care. apparently don't have double hit points. I remember that they were the only ones uh, excluded from it in Beta Strike, so that's fine. Working as intended, I would say. We don't have Silent Killer, do we? No, we have Target Definition and the normal Shrapnels. Okay, cool. We're staying hidden at the moment. This year should bring in more loss. Mainly try, trying to even uh, the battlefield. Because more loss means uh, that we will need to deal with uh, Advent less. The disadvantage of my strategy is, of course, that Advent is triggered, so there is no uh, extra action for us. Alright, apparently more loss back here. Uh, lost boomer that's good because once this guy explodes more losses are going to come all right everything according to plan so far Moving out. reaper Moves a little bit closer. And I think we're just reloading for now. Rest of the team is overwatching. Listen, worst thing that could happen, as long as we're not detected, is the loss will all be killed. Best thing that could happen is the lost uh, severely damage Advent, and both of the forces effectively begin to wind each other up to a point uh, where we just need to clean up the scraps. It's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a cowardice way of playing the mission, but you got to do what you got to do in those saving your disaster campaigns. Interesting. Well, that would be helpful to have this guy further to the front. We are blocking this. That's not a bad idea. Got it 
sector it needs to reload and that should be an explosion oh yeah impactful good and they are pulling the other loss which is great Good. I think what we can do and should do is explode the car. More explosions means the loss should be closer. There's another lost a bit further down. I think it's the last one. Hmm, I guess this might be as far as we can take it. This might be as far as we can take it. By the way, I wonder where are all of the crates, because this here is not a crate, right? But it shows as if it would be a crate. Hmm. If, have you guys seen a single one? This might be one of those missions where we instantly lost, but we don't even know about it yet. Wow. That would be harsh. Okay, we can kill that advent officer, but first let's get the heavy down. Yeah, surprise, we've been here all along. At least we can be happy. About uh, how we're beating down Advent. That's 100% removal of the Overwatch, which is important. We're going with a bit of an 8 protocol here. Plus a flanking shot that somehow didn't crit. That somehow didn't crit. Let's see if we can trigger more losts. Well, it only took like what 17 explosions High, high ground, cover, throw axe, which should trigger melee in, uh, vulnerability. <clears throat> yeah, that was good. And almost a kill.
Very good. Not revealed. That's a two for one. And I don't see any crates. This is ridiculous. Where are the crates? Luckily, we do have a sniper. Okay, so I got one. There you go. Yeah, big deal. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, listen, I will try to pick up a crate, at least one, maybe they are just invisible. But I fear Ready to rock. they might not just be invisible, Ready? I think we are... We're in for Root Awakening. I think there are no crates. That can sometimes happen with mods, specifically with the new map mods. Oh, 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 look who I've just spotted through the fog of war. Yeah, that it stinks on so many levels. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. No shit, Sherlock. We really need to move fast if we want to get the rest. I have sight beyond vision. Okay, this is potentially going to be a loss. And the worst part about it is we're also going to lose South Africa. Just in time. Hmm. How do we deal with that? How do we deal with that? It's not good. One down, thousands to go. I don't know how to make the crates spawn. Well, that's the problem. I know how to make more lost spawn, apparently, okay, so because the uh, boomers are triggering new lost spawns. There you go, it's almost there. But I don't know how to make a crate spawn. Moving out. Target neutralized. Hmm. Would I use something like a flashbang that would Ready make it visible? I don't know. It's, it's not even clipping a chest, right? So you can't. They don't seem to be invisible, they just do not seem to be there. Let me check for something. Alright, did a little bit of analysis. There is no console command to spawn the crates. 
And if my memory serves me well, uh, there is the this this mission does not automatically end when you kill all enemies. So we're indeed in for a really really rough time. Mainly because I can't see how we're getting a single a single crate here. It's just not going to happen. Location confirmed. I know what's in your hands. What we can try to do is get the Viper King then that's a bit the consultation uh, price it's not great but I, I don't know what else to do I could try to clear out all enemies from the map. <clears throat> this is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. There is nowhere to hide. The lost are surprisingly good against the Viper King because it doesn't trigger its uh, stupid ruler ability so that's good what's not so good is us being forced to give up uh, this container here simply because there is no container there Listen, we could theoretically spawn even more losts, because why not? Currently the ruler is not next to us, which is a huge relief. But I need <coughs> the grenades against the ruler just to remove armor. Can't nilly villy just use that against any of these guys here oh, okay well okay things have just very much changed good we got the frost bomb which is going to be our one ability against the ruler that could help us Ruler is now firmly in our grasp, so yeah. Let's try to not make the whole lost thing even worse than it already is. We need to first of all drain its armor. So unless that's not happening, we're going to have a huge problem. out of uh, out of the boxes here can I nope no remote start either it's 
So really what I will do is overwatch here. Uh, that's pr it's problematic. Overwatch triggers ruler actions as well. And I already know the tongue lash is just around the corner. Rulers are also immune against flash ban. Oh, are they? Chosen are rulers, maybe. I don't think that I can disorient uh, the ruler. Let's start hitting them. Nice hit. Well, frost press, of course, is an option as well. This should not trigger any reaction. Yeah, never mind. And listen. Um, Give me time to reload. Not a great position for sight here. In. Hunkering down. All of a sudden, new crates are spawning. Those are the ones that are being moved out. This will not trigger the ruler. Poisoning. Nasty. Not much I can do against it. I'm all right. Yeah, that's a mistake. The bound is okay, but you will uh, be absolutely smashed by the loss. Okay, for once the losses are really helping us and are on our side. Look at that. Fabulous. Good damage. Medic. out of range all right that will trigger ruler reaction start that is worth our while this is for you. good we can technically only freeze the ruler without freezing our soldier because the soldier still was an at an adjacent field not directly where the ruler was This will waste one turn. Yep. Throwing grenade. 
This helps us to get rid of some of uh, the armor. You can see our biggest problem is the stupid amount of armor that that thing has. This will not trigger anything. Can't really do much with the Reaper. Reaper is a bit of dead weight at the moment. You can never escape my sight. Because there is no remote start that is worth it. Continuing our focus fire on the actual problem. Still has armor. The Vipers are following their instinct to always bind whenever possible. This Viper here does have a lot of problems. Alright, poisoning almost done. I like it. Let's get rid of the armor. Fabulous. Okay, now it's a different ball game. hit. Lovely. Summons the gate, right? Some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to Volan would have allowed it to have this ability. It's trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. We do have one chance with a repeater, right? Superior repeater. Come on. So the only guy with a superior repeater essentially cannot hit. XCOM at its finest. Listen, in that case, there isn't much we can do. Um, yeah. This will let him flee. See you later, alligator.
50-50. Let's reload. The poison soon should wear off, so as long as we're not moving, things are good. back into the group losing more crates on our way out we have lost six already my hope somewhat is that with the bug uh, after all of the enemies are dead we get the remaining crates but that's typically not how it works More enemies. Well, we should see it from the kind of positive side. We have almost killed one of the rulers. Next time we might deal way more damage. All right, let's start to to use uh, the Reaper as an actual damage dealer. The only thing possible for aliens. I need more ammunition. Death to the invader. I must reload. My ammo is gone. Not great, but still good uh, hit chances they are de they're actually dealing okay uh, damage when they flank because of uh, the high uh, bonus crit damage but they also deal uh, they are also very accurate in their shots the reaper class in itself can work out well in kind of prolonged firefights the problem is mainly that the vector rifle if it doesn't crit it really d it doesn't uh, deal hell lot of damage to begin with fantastic damage on the other hand uh, with our ranger there But we have a solid position. So much so that one of uh, the Vipers is immediately down. And we can just heal up. Said actually did a really good job. I placed him a bit too far on the front line for my taste. But overall he did a good job. Now all we need to do is clean up this mess here and get rid of uh, the remaining viper which maybe will uh, be happening soon or much sooner than one would anticipate Plenty of kills. Kill no longer On reserves. Lovely. Enemy eliminated. Good to go. Negative weapon strike. Let's try to get the Viper. Oh, wow, that was a good hit, even though. We had low chances. Good. If my co um, 
my calculations are correct, uh, that should have been the last advent based enemy. Everything else that we're seeing are now lost, so the question that I'm asking myself is can we kill all of the lost and get rewarded for it? And hopefully the answer is yes, because we have only two more crates left, so things need to happen now, as in this round. Else the only thing that is left over is the shameful evacuation and the knowledge that it really wasn't our fault. But you know what, sometimes in life, even if it is not your fault, you are taking the short end of the stick. Okay, so I XCOM teaches you that very well. Well, a couple of good uh, cinematic scenes here as we're going through the last loss. Okay. Knock on wood. Alright, come on, game, please. Target neutralized. Ooh, yeah. Ah, well done. See? Perseverance and not giving up once again prevailed in XCOM. You just needed to kill everything, including uh, the Viper King. Good, good, very good. Between the elders, their alien armies, and the chosen, now we've got zombies to deal with. Bradford is losing his temper once again. Should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Uh, Bradford, for a leader, you are definitely a bit too um, too hot-headed. More rookies, no, thank you. Avenger plotting new course. We now got, oh well we won, but it was a ferric victory, we didn't get supplies. <laughs> Damn you game! Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left what? me wondering if we have made the right approach. We what? Have to do better. Defeated all of them? All right, something is inherently not very good. Hmm. The skirmishers are yours. Listen, I'm pretty sure all three are not defeated. Something must have broken. I hope when I return the save game that that, that will unstuck itself. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Uh, okay. 50%, yeah, that's one of the worst breakthroughs ever. Uh, we might actually start with Plasma Rifle, because why not? That's a good, uh, that's a really good option. Pretty sure this here is completely out of our range. 600 supplies not happening, not anytime soon. I should see if any of the troops have been keeping count on Ailes. And somehow I'm also not seeing the 
dark uh, the, uh, the black market that's of course a bit worrying strategic resource located okay Avenger plotting new course. getting more money because we will need that and then we're going to go for tactical analysis we still got a few more contacts to burn some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action a few days rest they'll be ready to get back in all right we could recruit another skirmisher we can recruit a templar uh, vengeance okay form soldiers bond listen when i can recruit a templar not even going to think about whether or not uh, that is the right way. Our new skirmisher. And one of the sharpshooters is going to go on to that mission. And see you in nine days. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Okay, proving ground. Choose project. We definitely, we definitely need that pistol, the Shadow Keeper. It's a good one. With limited resources, might as well use them there. And mm, four days. Yeah, we're just going to reassign our engineer afterwards. Good, we got enough supplies, so we're at 30. We don't have an out at the moment, at least as far as I can see, with regard to a facility. The closest one is over here, New India. Starting to make contact. Still got okay or had enough intel for that. Technical analysis will be a huge bonus for us. But yeah, this campaign is far from being saved at the moment. Specifically, the income problem is massive. So equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word, and we'll build the skull jack. Yeah, we don't need a skull jack now. Uh, these guys. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we do. But we don't even have the money for that. And since our only source of income, the supply rate was bugged. Oh boy. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Barrier, high alert, gone to ground. Okay, the gone to ground explains why the... Why the... Um, black market isn't there. Let's see what we can train as abilities. Oh, death from above? Yeah, well, that's good. Rupture isn't bad either. Definitely going for Blade Storm on top of um, Placable. Specialist Salvo is good. I like it. We're going for Haywire Protocol. And I'll see whether or not we need something else. Another death from above from Warlord. Ooh, wow, the Rangers are popping. Um, in here, death from above as the standard ability isn't bad. <coughs> like that. <coughs> Untouchable, fantastic. Heavy ordnance, not bad either. That extra grenade can go a long way. Another untouchable, which is just a fantastic ability all around. Good, and if we go further down here, I'd be careful to spend too much for now. 
clearly he has invested a lot in this reaper target definition shrapnel oh, that's a great reaper bomber on the other hand with death from above I mean that's one of the things that you're never passing by and another death from above <laughs> okay all right yeah the, the random rolls were very kind to us that's not bad all right Uh, something is inherently broken can't do the normal missions that's a problem because without the normal missions we won't be able to catch up lots of rewards are missing of the elders warlock actively working in this region uh, at least we're starting to make more contact 100 supplies is a bit too much for us at this point but we could start getting more intel. Our action together is complete, Commander. As a result of our recent actions together, one of my greatest followers has chosen to join you on the front line. Uh, listen, I mean. Not sure why we need to get uh, to the strongholds. And not sure why the Templar needs to start as a squaddy. That's a bit rough, don't you think? Funnily enough, <clears throat> we can use Doom here and he gets another promotion which means after this mission <laughs> he's already being a colonel without having seen action once he's just um, con uh, continuously getting promoted something is a little bit off with the save game I wonder what broke it But we got another um, rate, which is not bad, but at least giving us the chance for extra loot. That will happen in the next episode, though. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's a bit of a different campaign, uh, specifically with the little uh, bugs here and there. But you gotta look past uh, those in order to appreciate how the saving happens. And I would say overall, a couple of uh, things could be learned from it, such as how to rebuild the roster, prioritize all of the research, uh, and then start to expand in order to actually get some income. We started with zero income and now we're already at 115. If we continue to expand, that number will also go up and with it, we can hopefully do the SWAT upgrade. That's it from my side. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.